Hello there, YouTubers. Again, I didn't exactly expect to make this video. Recently, pr pr pretty much every time I I I make a video, it signifies and it indicates a fairly serious or severe problem manifesting I I into my reality, I into the part of the ma matrix in which I am dwelling and getting stranded in. I know that I'm, I may have already regurgitated or have been regurgitating such statement for far too many times. However, the reality just keeps forcing me to repeat the same actions and um, res um, res resorting, resorting to the resorting to repetitive behavioral patterns pretty much all, all the time P pretty much <clears throat> more often than I care to remember <clears throat> I don't know about you um, again I, 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 I know I I just now repeated uh, another fairly cliche saying that I, you know, by by saying I don't know about you, but since you know I I have I pretty much have m minimal amount of person to person face to face interactions with other sentient individuals. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I confess that oftentimes I make videos purely to, to rant and vent since I don't, I have pretty much no one, you know, to, to talk, to talk to, 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 to have, uh, to have an in-depth conversation with all honesty and transparency here but not not neither here nor out there um well at least you know on a face-to-face -face at least on a face-to-face -face basis in my case I, I pretty much have no one to um <clears throat> to you know to share hearts and minds completely openly but myself at at, at the moment well if you count God into consideration well that that makes him another exception though you know, God, faith in God, you know, <laughs> is just, you know, I, 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 I bear, I currently bear an, an ever dim, um, diminishing faith in, in God, you know, more and more. So probably that, possibly that might indicate that I am not saved or I'm not a true Christian after all you know it's just that you know I'm being you know consider the fact that I'm being tossed to and fro you know getting beaten down not knocked down by my own problems over and over you know it's, um 
and more than a nod, you know, I just re retreat and resort to <coughs> to porno, to cynicism, to nihilism, to to skepticism, to um, skepticism, to 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 uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, skepticism. From time to time, and um, and you know, as a result, you know, I just begin to pop up to YouTube less and less because um, whatever you share or upload to YouTube, at least in my case, um, it will not contribute to the growth of my channel that much unless some sort of arbitrary or random miracle occurs somehow attributed to the so-called lady our algorithm of YouTube or Google or the company, the underlying mastermind of the entire alpha company, which, you know, we all more or less know that um, that c controls and owns YouTube behind the scenes, you know, or whatever or who whoever that runs the show <clears throat> so it's pretty much you know a you know a game of chance a game of a game of you know um stupidity more or less if you you know you know to 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 put it more plainly more vulgarly you know, a, a, a freaking stupid number game, or and plus, I might add of a freaking stupid mind game, more or less here and there on YouTube, or pretty much everywhere on the internet and on in the in the real world, slash you know in the ten tangible part of the matrix. Um. <laughs> So it's just, you know, doom and gloom. Unfortunately, I have to say that, you know, whoever you turn to for help, most of them, if not all of them, um, won't give a flying piece of shite about your suffering, you know. Uh, unless those who may share, you know, one thing or two in common with you say you know they may you know those that may be suffering from similar afflictions similar illnesses say most typically speaking deep depression anxiety you know loss of loved ones you know slash grief you know plus ho homelessness plus you know many other unfortunate and tragic events such as car accidents, cancer, amputations, betrayal, um, you know, you, you name it, you know. And, you know, I do, I do not make videos, you know, to, to to, you know, to mainly spread hate or whatnot, to spread to or to disseminate negative energy or, or vibe, you know. I simply, you know, just, you know, I make videos, you know, to, long story short, I, I make videos to make myself feel better, you know, to relieve my own pain of living most of the time. You know, I, I really don't, 
you know, um, film videos that often to consciously, you know, <laughs> drive views or traffic to my channel on YouTube, at least since like I mentioned earlier in this filming session, you know, um, your, you know, the, the overall growth and viewership of your channel, of your presence on YouTube no longer, no longer predominantly depends on your hard work and craftsmanship. And, you know, the, the, the amount of, you know, hard work and craftsmanship and, uh, you know, the amount of subtlety and art you, you invest into a particular video will not necessarily make you famous or successful on YouTube anymore. So it's just, you know, it pretty much suggests that it pretty much suggests that it's only a matter of time before the whole platform comes to a total <clears throat> annihilation or collapse. I'm not trying to badmouth YouTube or, you know, since, you know, at least for the, for the moment, at the moment, I still at least par partially <laughs> depend on, on popping up to YouTube to make a living. You know, to you know, not exactly to make um, the majority of my living, the majority of the 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 um, the money that you know that mainly can contributes to my survival during this dark and tough time. Not not exactly, um, but you know, it does still give me a bit of hope and mom just a faint a tiny amount of motivation to continue to push forward with my shitty life you know w w without family without friends without love whatever you know you you know n pretty much nothing you know <clears throat> just a few you know ar ar archaic Laptop computers and some sex dolls, <laughs> all of them more or less broken, you know. Um, and you know, um, also in this filming session, I, I would like to p point out, you know, a few major, a few major concerns or worries that are currently, you know, pre precluding me or pre preventing me from taking the real a actions to relocate, to depart from my grandma's flat and per pursue, you know, a quote-unquote better life, a more stress-free life, <laughs> per se, you know. So basically, you know, first and foremost, the n number one factor or the number one c concern that pre pre precludes me from so doing, that deters me from so doing, is that my current health, my current health, my current health c condition ha hasn't seen much improvements. Um, I wouldn't say it's a. I wouldn't say that my health, you know, both my physical and my m m m mental health, have deteriorated drastically. At least, you know, no. Well, at least I can still speak English and I can still film the video. Um, some sometimes I manage to temporary temporarily snap out of my severe depression and anxiety so that I can, you know, kind of per perform my own daily 
routine and workflow for a season, at least for minimally speaking, a, 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 a few days consecutively. And then, you know, then f fall back to the story state uh, again, over and over. Though recently, you know, I have seen, re recently I have suffered from a lot of, you know, <clears throat> ch chest pain and back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, you know, you, you, you name it. Um, I, I, oh, Honestly speaking, I, I I don't really know if if um, the existing you know the newly my newly developed um, mitral re regurgitation um, hundred percent um, contributes to all these, or it it also you know it's also or it's also coupled by the complications of my existing severe depression and anxiety, you know, and some other factors, you know, s such as, um, you know, the continuing, um, the continuing harassment from that wicked woman, um, you know, um, and my e existing fear, you know, to, you know, my e e existing fear of, of, uh, possibly <clears throat> having to become homeless, uh, uh, um, again, as a result of that wicked woman taking full p p p possession of this property, you know, <clears throat> Now or in the in, in the near future, I really don't know. You know, I I, I have never been this um, skeptical of, of my own self, of, of my own um, manhood and self identity and self. As team, you know, I'd say you know the the um, the undermining the undermining e effect, you know the the um, the the overall the overall amount of detriments to my own self esteem has unfortunately outperformed um you know those that occur to me during my homelessness slash exile back in year 2019 and and, and the year you know the half year after the half year there after um so it's pretty much you know i i just ha have to say that it's pretty much all over red over for me you know um just a couple of uh Yeah, just, just a couple of weeks ago, you know, I, I, I received a text message from Westpac saying that if I don't, you know, saying that if I don't, you know, update my contact information and some other, you know, blanks in their forms in their database, they, they may restrict my access so so in in, in in panic you know i performed some a actions that resulted in 
you know, in me being unable, you know, to, well, n n not, not exactly unable to, to log in and a access the account, but, you know, um, how, how should I put it? You know, it's, you know, I, I, I don't know, but somehow, you know, they, they, they got my, you know, my, um, my, my Hong Kong mo mobile number in the, in the database, um, that's no, no longer in use. And you know they keep and and every time I tried, every time I, I attempt to you know to revert the damage I did to my Westpac profile, every time it sends verification code a verifi a verification code you know to the to the number that's no longer in, in, in use. So, you know, that leaves me no other option but to, but ringing them from my o o o Aussie number through international roaming. And, you know, that poses a major problem, you know, since it costs quite a dear amount of money to just ring them. So, you know, I'll have to kind of, you know, wait until I get the, the funds to, to recharge that prepaid mobile number before I can ring them. And, you know, I do expect the whole session <laughs> will cost at least um, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 Australian dollars, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, that's quite shit. And uh, yeah, but you know, that's actually you know the least of my concerns now. You know, if you know that actually pales in comparison, pales pales in comparison to my to my physical and mental health. You know, so the so the worst thing about the about severe depression is that it shatters your entire identity, your entire manhood, your in, your entire confidence slash self esteem, and the power to make things ha happen. <laughs> you know, it, it keeps. Um, it keeps, it simply keeps, you know, programming you into believing that you are not capable or you are unable to do things. Or, you know, some, sometimes on some occasion it keeps saying, it, it keeps sending you the m message that it, it's not worth doing s things you know, including taking a shower, chowing food, um, and on and on and on, you know. But, you know, I suppose, you know, um, in retrospect, it, it, it doesn't hinder me making videos as much as I feared. So at least, you know, that I, mm, you know, kind of count that, count such thing as a blessing. But, you know, yeah, so first and foremost, you know, my current health c c condition does not, you know, a a allow me to make a rational, to make a series of of ra rational decisions that requires precise and lo logical c calculations to to make it there, you know, to make it to my dream destination, say Belgium, Switzerland, even Iceland, 
Great Britain, etc. You know, and I also, you know, um, I also read, you know, I also, you know, read through, you know, the, tra the you know, smarttraveler.gov.au. And I, you know, I uh, acquired the concept of, uh, of you know, the, the concept of medical evacuation. So if one does become seriously ill or injured, usually it requires med um, m m medical evacuation. If the, you know, if the country, if or the destination country or region <coughs> um, can cannot provide um, adequate treatment and it will cost a uh, dear dear an exorbitant amount of money so I do take that into consideration since you know can consider the fact that I have Pretty much no one to give me a helping hand once you know I'm outside you know once I depart from from this place you know so you know I have to you know I I, I must work my a a angles to make sure that I am adequately prepared you know if not fully pre pre prepared for the the action and you know i i i, I um um and you know subsequently I, I i do so by reviewing and reflecting and ruminating upon my past ha actions my past experience with my with life with you know with De dealing, I interacting with a NPCs back back then, and how it turned out. So based on my current, my most recent c c conclusion, my next mission of of uh, Exodus. Will likely result in a in a catch twenty two situation in which I will pretty much become ho ho homeless <laughs> in another country, you know, and ill, depressed, um, depressed, seriously ill, and homeless that's what i you know that's basically how i per, how i perceive how i imagine that will turn out to be so unfortunately you know i can't do it at least for now and you know as as holiday slash festive seasons quickly uh, quickly approach you know it's um <clears throat> the current you know prices of air tickets and accommodations just keep skyrocketing yeah <laughs> though you know though though you th though that 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 doesn't um necessarily you know <laughs> indicate that you won't find good deals um you know on say on booking.com or on agoda or blah 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 you know at least you know yes i i i did a bit of uh, re research you know i i p performed my due diligence by doing a bit of uh, research and homework 
online beforehand um at least you know it's not so sustainable you know to launch my my next um exodus um at the moment at least it's not sustainable well that pretty much leaves me no other option but to find you know but to but for finding maybe a, a nine, nine to five gig somewhere in, in europe you know but i doubt if i could find one and even if i do you know that you know could still spell a disaster a major disaster to to me ha had i failed to you know to 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 perform the roles as required by the employer and you know i i know that you know my current per, per perception you know I, I know you know my current mental health my broken mindset my my broken mentality largely and adversely uh, uh, affects my my cognition and perception of the world of how people behave and act <sighs> you know i suppose you know the only way to take the first step is to change my mindset first is to try to snap slash you know quote unquote snap out of it <laughs> but the you know the longer i stay here the less likely i imagine i will be able to snap out of it just like that you know and with the the um diminishing amount of reserves of my medications particularly anti de anti depressant um i fear you know that my moment of truth has you know draws quite nigh soon sooner or later i will have to make the ultimate choice the ultimate sacrifice or sacrifices you know by you know it's pretty much a catch-22 situation you know, a catch-22 circumstance in which i'll have to choose either to become ho homeless in my home country or become ho homeless in another country or region <sighs> i'm so sorry guys <sighs> just trying you know as i said as i've said for those you know who are suffering similar conditions or circumstances you know I, I i really don't have much to you know to to say to you as you know uh you know as recommendations or uh, advice you know but you know just try to take it day by day you know if you if you do find reading or or listening to the bible helpful then do it if you do find um fapping to porno banning your sex door somewhat soothing to your to your pain 
and, and assuming that you can ensure that you don't physically harm yourself then do it you know i am not g going to you know to tell you like those pastors that you shouldn't go see a prostitute you shouldn't watch porno you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that but once you know you have nothing but misery and and you know um destruction in your life what else can you really do or well, I should say, what else can we really do? When praying doesn't work, reading the Bible barely works or really works. I, I, though I'm not saying it, it doesn't work a, at all. I'm just saying it really works. It rarely works. Or, you know, it, it just doesn't always work to soothe our pain of existence, of misery and loneliness. But really, you know, in all, in all honesty there, loneliness and, you know, deep, loneliness and depression mean, mean, mean really nothing can compare to, you know, how, how hopeless, how desperate you are you are currently feeling right now you know they are just <clears throat> they go farther so long story short so somehow holiday seasons do tend to carry the the vibe of a a adding fuel to our existing su suffering and afflictions, especially a a a as men. <laughs> so our life, our lives do tend to get tougher during holidays. During holidays, you know, more or less. Um. You know, well, at least that's my my opinion. In my case, again, I I, I I can't really, you know, come to an absolute judgment or conclusion solely based on my personal experience. Um, but yeah, I you know, if you do wish, you know, if you if your 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 pain your 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 problems <laughs> have reached or have breached your your threshold of patience or endurance and, and you want out i have nothing uh, uh, against you i i don't blame you i won't call you i won't call you a uh, um a coward or a weakling no it's perfectly reasonable and understandable to off yourself during times like this really <laughs> but uh, uh, on the other hand i wouldn't suggest that that you do so lightly you know um after all you know um things won't last forever you know even this shitty life it won't last forever though it does feel like it does feel feels as if it's gonna last forever when you are in pain when you are in agony like particularly like me so it does suck to be me and more or less it does suck to be a man nowadays anyway guys 
Thank you very much for watching and listening to my rant. I, I sincerely hope you, you have a lovely day, or at least a better day than, than I do. Yeah, so, and don't feel pressured to give, don't feel pressured to, you know, to watch all of my videos or like, hitting likes or whatever, or, or uh, don't feel pressured to, to chip into my Patreon page, you know, just take care of yourself first. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, thank you very much again. And if God's still willing, au revoir. Au revoir. Take care. Until next time. Cheers.